carpal subluxation is also a frequent lesion in the wrist area. We can have a dorsal subluxation or a palmar subluxation. The most frequent one, of course, is the dorsal one. What do we find in the examination? Well, on doing a flexion, it's possible that we can see a little bump coming out, and that could be the subluxation of, for instance, capitate bone. What do we find in the examination? Well, the passive extension is going to be painful and slightly limited. We are talking about small limitation and not a big limitation. There is a difference between, let's say, an acute subluxation and a more chronic one. With the acute one, you just have the limitation of extension causing pain in this area. With the more chronic one, it is possible that we also have an irritation of some dorsal ligaments and that we not only find this, but also end range pain on passive flexion. So treatment is going to be manipulation for the subluxation and possibly friction massage for the ligament. If there is a palmar subluxation, then the clinical image is just the reverse. You're going to have a small limitation of movement of flexion.